Nike, the top brand for teens in both apparel and footwear for, footwear for 12 years running. This is according to Piper Sandler's biannual teen survey. Converse holds on to the second favorite shoe brand. Adidas held third. New Balance gained in share, moving into fourth, surpassing Vans. American Eagle and Lululemon again second and third most preferred clothing brands. Shein moved up to number four from number five and swapped places with H&M. Teens say they're spending 1% less than last year, 4% less on clothing, 3% less on shoes. The environment does remain teens' top social and political concern, but inflation was second and the economy was fifth. However, beauty spending up 23%, led by a 33% increase in cosmetic spending. ELF, ELF is the top cosmetic brand. CeraVe is the favorite skincare. Bath and Body Works, number one in fragrance. Sephora knocks Ulta out of the top spot for the first time in five years for where teens are buying beauty. Now, teens are shopping more at off-price retailers and online, less at specialty stores, discounters, outlets, and secondhand. Amazon dominates online with 59% share. Shein comes up second, but with just 7% share. And by the way, speaking of Amazon, today is the beginning of its second Prime Day deal event this year. While still expected to be a large shopping event, data from Aptopia suggests that shopper interest and engagement has waned over time for these Prime events. And a CNBC analysis of Jungle Scout pricing data over the past year on a basket of products sold by Amazon directly or the brands themselves on the platform found that the best price for electronics and toys is typically during Amazon's summer Prime sale for health and beauty. You might want to wait and buy that during Black Friday, but for home goods, this is the prime event that might be your best price. Captify also telling CNBC the top three search categories so far this morning for Amazon, in fact, are electronics, home and kitchen, and toys and games. Back over to you guys. Court, I, I just wonder how sustainable that increase in beauty spending uh, might look at this point. Does this repeat a trend from prior years, or is this a, a kind of a big substitution effect of beauty products for things like clothes and shoes? Yeah, that's a really good question. So we are seeing the highest level in cosmetic spending since 2019. So we've seen a higher level in the past, dropped off for a while during the pandemic, I guess, when we didn't have as many places to go, and the same thing went for teens, and then sort of jumped back up. It's hard to say how long this trend will last, but Mike, when you look across the board in retail, whether it's a pure play cosmetic seller like an Ulta or it's a Macy's, which obviously has a beauty category. It's been consistently called out as a very strong category for a number of quarters now. I do find it interesting, though, that ELF or, or ELF was the number one brand. Um, it's really gained a lot of traction. It is a company and a stock has performed fairly well, and it's better price point, which makes sense for a teen consumer, which may have a little less disposable income. Although if you look at their preferences for handbags, they still like the finer things in life, if you will. I'm not <laughs> sure they can actually afford them, but Gucci, Louis Vuitton, those were way up there. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Court, it's interesting. We were talking earlier in the hour about the Birkenstock IPO mm -hmm. and just kind of this revival of brands that were popular 10, 20 years ago in the 90s. Are you seeing that also in the survey, just the the brands that were popular maybe at the turn of the century that are suddenly having a new life these days? Such a great question, Les, because we have seen a lot of 90s trends sort of pop back up in this teen survey and past surveys in the spring again here sort of right now with the baggy pants are really popular again. But Birkenstocks actually did not make it into the top 10 for hottest shoes, which I was fairly surprised about. This teen survey does often get an early read on some of these things. I think you might remember several years ago, maybe now, the L.L. Bean boot kind of resurfaced in popularity, and I really saw it first pop up on this survey. Not the mm. case, though, right now with Birkenstocks, at least not for the teens in the fall. Yeah, I can't keep up with it, though. I mean, it's like skinny jeans, not skinny jeans. I don't know. I don't I'll know. My, I, I, look, I look all out of sorts with my jeans. I'm sure I'm well behind. <laughs> That's okay. Love you anyway. Uh, thanks. thanks, Court.